Hi everyone, welcome to another video by Less Tax to Pay. Today we're going to be looking at QuickBooks Online and how to create a bill or a purchase invoice. Now these are not your daily running expenses, so like parking or your travelling expenses, lunches or anything like that, or your stationery. This is actual if you buy materials and you sell materials, or if you're buying items to be able to complete a job, this is what we're talking about bills. Or if you have any credit, so if you have any credit accounts, this is what you need to do is create a bill. It's called a purchase invoice in other softwares, but QuickBooks call it bills. So there's a number of ways we can access this. So firstly, we're gonna to go to expenses and then expenses. Now you see here, this is a list of all the transactions that are done with regards to expenses, whether they're bills, expenses, payments, okay? So to create a new bill, we go to new transaction and bill. Now, depending if you've got the supplier already set up or you haven't, I'm going to take it that this is a brand new supplier. So I'm going to create one called Screwfix and I can just click add. And it'll ask me what currency I'm dealing with. I can add extra details to so email addresses and everything else or I can just press save. So now this is added the supplier to my QuickBooks. I can now enter the, the bill that I have in. So I'll enter the date as today, the bill number which will be the receipt number on the invoice itself. So we'll leave it at that. Account. So now generally with bills, they'll go under one or two sort of account codes. So you've got purchases or some people might have um, set up I'm not sure if we have, that would have materials, which is the same as purchases. But as you can see, I haven't got that set up. So purchases is the cost of sale account where you'd put, um, if it's to do with buying goods to sell on or to use in a job, that's what you'd put it under purchase. So it's not like it's advertising or telephone. So you put it under purchase. This is where you can put the description. Now you can, your description can be as little as this so you put the invoice number and the number in or you can type in that it was I don't know a fire guard dash hammer dash screwdriver etc etc you can see you can qu type quite a lot in there and then what you'll now do is put the amount in so I'm going to put it as £100 now if you are VAT registered which this company is you'll obviously have to put the VAT amount which is the 20s 20% s and you can see it's already worked it out for you now if you've got a number of invoices to put in you would hit save and new but now for this one we're going to hit save and close okay so now it brings me back to the list of all the purchases that have been made under this company you can see at the top here that this is the one that we've just done now I want to see the balance in my with my suppliers so you can see here we've got a list of suppliers some with an open balance so if I scr scroll down to screw fix you can see I've got 120 pounds and if you've made the payment or you've got a bank feed you can then obviously cross that off and match it off and the bank feed will try and match that off um, so that's the simple way of creating a bill as I said it's a purchase invoice so if you have any credit um, or it's your main suppliers for you to be able to do your industry and obviously perform your tasks that's what you need to create if it's an expense we'll cover that in another video which is your general parking and your traveling and the general stationery and the little things that you buy uh, on a day-to-day -day basis the little expenses that you incur doing obviously running your business and running your company so that's all for today if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell as new videos are coming out all the time. We're very mindful that it's becoming close to Christmas now um, and with January and obviously making tax digital coming in in April. So there's videos coming out all the time. We don't want people to be left right until the last minute to deal with this. This is a very, very good tool. So like I said, please subscribe to the page. Please hit the notification bell as new videos will come out. We do cover other, other softwares apart from QuickBooks, as you'll see on the channel. 
so some of the videos might not be relevant but do keep an eye on it these will be very very good videos just to keep you up to date with what's going on bye for now